You're listening to an Airwave Media Podcast. I feel like who Art Ed? Try to slice it. Who Art Ed? Mr. Wood, Art Ed, me. <laughs> yeah. Either way, it, it's ambiguous. It works on so many levels. I know. That's off to a great start. Welcome to Who Arted, where we explore visual arts in an audio medium. I'm your host, Kyle Wood, and for today's mini bonus episode, we're going to be talking about arts madness, some of the results from round one, and some of the things to look out for in round two. Let's get started with some of the highlights from round one. First off, the closest match in round one was between Cause and Takashi Murakami. With 51% of the vote, Cause is just barely advancing to round two. And the thing that I'm really excited about with that is Matt Groening also is advancing to round two. So the Kimpsons will be facing off against the Simpsons. Last week, I said one of the matches I would be looking at closely was Raphael versus Picasso. Raphael won that one by quite a bit, 66.8% to 33.2%. So maybe Picasso was overestimating his abilities just a little bit when he said that he could paint like Raphael after only two years of study. Of course, that wasn't the biggest blowout of this round. That honor would go to Vincent van Gogh. He absolutely did dominated in his matchup against Alphonse Mucha. Vincent van Gogh got 92.8% of the vote. Not bad for someone who's said to have only sold one painting during his lifetime. Although, as longtime listeners know, he did have a little bit more commercial success than that. Not much more, but a little bit more. I'll link that episode in the show notes if you're curious about just how much Van Gogh did sell during his lifetime, or at least what we know of his sales. Now, just a few more round one highlights. In another close matchup, Rembrandt just barely eked out a victory over Georgia O'Keeffe. I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised to see O'Keeffe knocked out in the first round this year. She's been a frequent fan favorite and actually made it to the finals two years ago. Some other notable artists knocked out in round one. As I said, Pablo Picasso, along with Jackson Pollock, Grant Wood, Frida Kahlo, Jan Van Eyck, and Marcel Duchamp. Marcel Duchamp, the creator of Fountain, you know, the toilet guy. His Fountain, and really the idea of the ready-made, is considered by many experts, curators, and historians to have been the most influential artwork of the 20th century. But it's gone now from this year's tournament, so let's look on to what's going to be happening in round two. Now, one matchup I'm interested to see is Vermeer versus Rembrandt. It's the clash of the old Dutch masters. Now, with two more sort of contemporary American artists, we've got Robert Smithson up against Alma Thomas in round two. I guess we'll see who made the better radial design there. Now, one of the things I absolutely love about the Arts Madness tournament is the way that we get these unexpected mashups of really different artists, making it Kind of a challenge, frankly, to figure out even how to assess them because their work is so different. One of those sorts of matchups is Norman Rockwell versus Shigeru Miyamoto. I guess what's interesting is that while I never would have thought of Rockwell and Shigeru Miyamoto as the same sort of category, in a very real sense they are. They're both artists, creative professionals with a commercial bent to them. And in a fine arts context, it's kind of the clash of two underdogs. Both illustration and video games have been considered lesser art forms by many, but both of these artists held their own in round one, knocking out Grant Wood, famous for American Gothic, and Robert Rauschenberg. Both of those artists are well-respected, quote, fine art darlings of the gallery world. And the final match I want to highlight here is the clash of what to me feel like very opposite works in The Scream up against Falling Water. 
Frank Lloyd Wright created a building perfectly integrated into its surroundings for a soothing, harmonious design, whereas Edward Monk gave the world his anxiety attack laid out on a canvas. He stood on a bridge feeling alone and overwhelmed by the scream of nature, the din of the world around him. Of course, this, like all the matchups, has two great, famous works, but only one can advance. So be sure to go to whoartedpodcast.com slash vote and vote for your favorites in this week's matchups. Once again, that's whoartedpodcast.com slash vote. And of course, I'll have links in the show notes for those who are listening on a platform that supports it. This concludes this week's episode of Who Arted, part of the Airwave Media Podcast Network. If you found this tolerable, please leave a rating or review on your favorite podcast app. You can find images of the work being discussed this week and every week on social media at Who Arted Podcast on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And of course, on the website, whoartedpodcast.com. Podcast done.